Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, Phantom Cave, I suppose you'd call it. I've been promising I'd make a video of my collection for a while, so um, here we go. I'll start with the uh, paint posters I've got at the moment. I've got these ones here, which were in the uh, Adelaide newspaper a while ago. Two of them there. And uh, wonderful artwork by Glenn Ford was the uh, cover of the thousandth issue and we've got a uh, nice piece of artwork there by Lindsay Walker followed by this one which I got off my friend uh, William recently signed by Cy Barry Thanks William, and the one that went with it. And another piece of artwork up there by uh, our friend Glenn Ford. So this is my um, bench here where I bag and board all my comics. As you can see I've got it uh, all set out there with all different sizes. Make sure I get the right one whenever they come in. Got a bunch there ready to go. Latest Phantom and thanks to my friend Andreas. And these are the best day comics I got a while ago. I haven't quite finished bagging them all yet. So the unique, unique colours in the in the picture. List of the ones I've got to get, they're the Australian ones. I'm chasing. It'll take a while to get all them, pretty expensive. It's uh, my card collection at the moment. I've got the uh, Series 2 folder coming in the mail. It should be there at the moment actually, but I'm going to wait to pick it up till tomorrow. Series 1. By our friend Glenn Ford. I'm missing a couple out of there. So if anyone's got any doubles, let me know. Are you ever gonna find a series three, Glenn? What's gonna happen with that mate? Left us hanging on the edge of the building. Missing there. In the American Marvel series. Exchange cards I managed to score there out of the box. What card I got for the uh, the Fan Cove Facebook site? I think that was pretty cool. A couple of signed cards. Mm, promo cards. Uh, I'll get to my comic collection now, I suppose. So I bought these two cabinets. Managed to score for a hundred dollars out of a um, come out of a comic shop. So I've got my free collection in here. Try and get some better light. 
uh, some of my earlier issues. I've got it's my number 40. Fortunately, it's missing the big chunk out of the corner. Really nice comic. And I've got a number 62. It's seen better days. And my 76B that I scored at the uh, Comic Con recently. Number 112, I did just buy number 111, I've got it somewhere ready to be boarded and bagged. I like to, um, if I can, put the, uh, the board in the middle so you can see the rear cover. As you can see, I've done with that one. A lot of uh, boards these days, people bottom so you can't see the back been a bit beat up that one and these are these uh, cool little dividers I just bought recently you can mark off up to number 400 and 98, pretty cool. Really like this one, this one's a nice one. As you can see, I've got a lot in there, a lot in these drawers. All through, the whole top four drawers are all through. And then I start getting into my international stuff. Uh, these ones are through as well. And, oh, damn it. Start with my uh, German SA comics. That's number one. So, more German best day comics missing six out of the set. I was promised that I was a full set, and when they got here I was six short. I've got some more Some different ones here. So we've got the, uh, the last Phantom series. Got lots of different covers. For example, this is just the first, first comic. I don't know if you can see that. Bad lighting in this room. Just four covers of number one. Still haven't got them all yet.
into the moonstones. There you get the set of them. Actually, quite good reading. I enjoyed reading them. Different take on the Phantom. And you got the uh, the double shot moonstones. Captain Action. Found him unmasked. Got an old Moonstone. Bought out quite a lot. Moonstone. Found him Generations. Found him Ghost Who Walks. All Moonstone. And then they brought out the uh, the graphic novels. The Hunt. And then the Marvel ones. So I got a set of them. Took me a while to get them. For some reason they didn't release them all where I was getting mine from the New Zealand's. Uh, I scored this one a while back. It's signed by the artist. You can see there. And 2040. DC series, uh, one to four, and then they made uh, another twelve, I think it was. And in the British set, the UK Phantoms, There's a set of them in there somewhere. The Phantom in. A couple of the uh, the pioneer ones. Defenders of the Earth. Only got the first one. Got this one a while ago. Someone posted it on Facebook, and it's got the Phantom. Well, can't see it on the back, but he's on the back cover. Indian comics. Two in English. And the others are in, uh, I can't remember the language these are in, but it's supposed to be pretty rare. A few of the old mandrakes. Big books, budget books. French Phantom and the Mandrakes, the three ones. <clears throat> and then I've got my other little display cabinet over here. So I haven't got much in the way of merchandise. I've got a few cups there. Little Defenders of the Earth book. And I got these off um, eBay, a place called Crab Magnets. Actually, pretty cool. They cost me about twenty dollars for them three. And these are little magnets as well. A couple of big little books. A few more cards, got the gold signature one. The big postcode, postcard ones. All set in there. <coughs> got this for two dollars. Signed. I bought this a little while ago. This series was never released. It was to be a Mandrake one like the uh, the Marvel series that they brought out by Comic I Images. And a third card which I just traded with a good friend off Facebook. And 
and that's our um, series of Italian Phantom comics that I got. The whole set there. Cost me $200 to get them from uh, Italy to here. That was the entire set, so it was a pretty good deal. Worked out about four bucks a comic. And there's some doubles that I got, so if anyone wants to trade, give us a yell. Plenty there. A few international ones. And old diary. Go through this pile. There's a bit more of uh, the rarer ones that I've got. I bought a bunch of international comics. And uh, didn't realise when I got them here they were actually signed by Glenn Ford. It's an Indian Semic one, I think. And the Collector's Live. Only made 300 of those. And that one they only made 100 of. I made two or three hundred of these ones as well. The designs so that uh, you could take in the Comic Con and ask an artist to, to draw on it for you. That's another one signed by Glenn. And another one. Uh, bought this one, they only made I think 700 of them. It cost me five bucks, so I thought I'll might as well get that too. And that's my second one of those that I've got. And other comics live. And Search for Byron by Jim Shepard and Glenn Ford signed. That's what I got. The big one that I got here. Not sure. By Pacific Comics Club. Quite big. As you can see, the standard size of a comic. Pretty cool. others uh, complete series gold key volume one they brought out pretty expensive to buy actually and uh, another moonstone novel unopened one thousandth issue they won the phantom Rolls and Votes, and Wisdom of the Phantom, an old Australian's mirror that I found in the market one day. Got some more cards in here, just packed in there, a few sets. Inserts. Anyone wants any, any uh, needs to swap? Send me a message on Facebook, and I'll uh, got plenty to trade. Just a few card boxes I got. I got about ten sets in each of them box. Got a bit carried away when I was younger. And uh, official album. Which I'm having trouble getting the cards in. So if anyone knows a tip to get the the cards into these. Let me know.
And these boxes are all my Fru Phantom doubles. So if anyone's chasing any issues, give me a call. As you can see, I've got plenty in there. All sorts of numbers. From about 700 up. Always happy to swap. So that's my room so far. I've got a few more posters and that to put up later, but I'll uh, post some photos when they come up. So thanks for watching.